Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's DIY is a gorgeous DIY resin cheese board. It's a really easy, super fun DIY. So I wanna get started and let's get right to it. So you wanna cover your working area first cause it's gonna get pretty messy. Of course, we're gonna need a cheese board or a cutting board. This was $20 from Winners, which is kinda like a Ross or a TJ Maxx. It was quite expensive. My sister got one from the dollar store. It works so much better and I'll show you that in a little bit. But whatever one you get, you do want to take some painter's tape so you can prevent some resin from sticking in the back. Now this is the same resin I showed you in the previous video. This one is a one-to-one -one ratio. So all you have to do is pour in the hardener and you can pour in the resin all together. And it requires a mixing time of three to four minutes. Up next, you wanna split up the resin into however many colors you want to do really. So we're doing four, so we put that in four different cups. And then basically, I'm just taking some acrylic paint, I mixed whatever color I wanted, and you just put a little bit into the resin and it makes the colors so vibrant already just by putting a very little amount. So there are my colors, you know, very blushy palette that I'm currently feeling right now. So now you want to elevate your cheese board and probably put it on two plastic cups or whatever cups you may have. And we're just going to start pouring our resin on the cheese board. You don't have to prep it. You just literally pour it as you wish. The resin obviously doesn't dry in minutes, but we are working relatively fast and not too, too slow. And so because we are doing a marble pattern, we're just literally doing diagonal colors all the way through. You can see this is quite the messy project and everything is dripping everywhere. That's why we needed to elevate our cutting board or cheese board and also protect the table that we're gonna be working on. As you're pouring your resin, you're probably gonna notice some tiny bubbles forming inside them. And so that's when we need our heat gun. And this is also gonna blend our colors really well together and giving it that really true marble look. After you apply the heat gun over top, you can add more layers and just more colors if you want to, and then just keep on blowing those bubbles out. This particular resin is self-leveling, meaning if you do apply more layers on one side, it's just gonna level out so everything is going to be even. I also wanna mention to get resin that's food safe because obviously we're gonna be putting food on this. Once you're satisfied with the look, wait for 24 hours to let that all set and any extra resin you can just make some matching coasters with them now once your resin is fully dry you can go ahead and take off the painter's tape in the back now this could be a really annoying process if you didn't cover the back correctly and your resin is stuck on the actual cheese board you're just gonna have to take an exacto knife and try to scrape that off obviously be careful because it's wood and you can scrape all that pieces off a couple tips after having done this DIY is I should have gone with a lighter cheese board for the background because it would have showed the color a lot better like this one. This is a cutting board actually from the dollar store and it was way better because it had a thicker grip and the handles weren't as round so the resin was actually easier to take off. Make sure you comment down below and let me know if you want to see a DIY on this beachy resin cheese board. But I actually really love how this one turned out because it's so subtle and beautiful. That's about it for this DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a big like if you loved it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.